Hello everyone, this is Dave with Moonride, and I am channeling the man in the moon. Uh, today's question is, uh, will Trump be impeached, uh, or will he resign? And uh, the second question is going to be, uh, is, if he is uh, impeached, will it be successful? So, uh, first question number one, um, will Trump be impeached, or will he resign? interesting image. Um, so I'm getting an image of Trump actually in the water. And he's, he's hanging on to the feathers of a swan. It looks like a, back, a black swan. How interesting. Um, and he's just hanging on there. He's, the bird is going too fast for him. It's swimming faster than it can. He's holding on to the dear life. All right, this makes me think that he is pretty close to, this is pretty close to the end. Um, he's just barely hanging on. Um, and is this a question of sanity or is he gonna lose his mind? Um, and I'm getting that that is the part of the problem that he's, he's really on the verge of a mental breakdown. Um, you know, we've seen him ranting recently, but I'm getting the impression that he, it might be a moot point. He's, he's just going to lose it. And somebody's going to walk him out of there and put him in a hospital because he's losing it. Um, I'm actually seeing a, um, hospital van, um, taking him away. I mean, I think, um, I think there may not even be a question of resignation. It might be that he's just immediately hospitalized because he's, he just loses his, he, he loses his marbles. Let's go back to the um, first image. We're seeing this um, this bird drag him around a lake. Yeah, and the blackbird is sometimes uh, symbolic of a. Um, for me, at least, it's symbolic of um, some of the uh, um, you know some of the Reiki um, archangels, um, uh, Archangel Michael, I think. Is the one I'm seeing. Is that Michael? Or actually, I'm sorry, it's Archangel Saint Germain. And it's almost again, it's just like he's barely holding on to. Yeah, now I can see him like holding on to Saint Germain's robe, just trying to hang on to the edge. Um, Saint Germain um, might be considered like health, right? So he's just barely hanging on to the health, the mental health here. Um, yeah, it's not a heart attack. I thought possibly it's a problem with his heart, but, um, spirit keeps pointing me to his head. He keeps pointing me to his head. Um, and I, I often see this with Trump. He's breaking, just breaking things up. And I mean, literally like taking a golf club and smashing, um, price, priceless, um, White House, um, ornaments. I don't know if that's symbolic or real, but um, I keep getting the feeling that it's real. Like every time I see it, and it's not, this is like the fifth time, um, it's like he's sh like showing me a golf club. Like this is what I'm going to use to destroy, you know, Lincoln's portrait, right? Um, and um, that's what he's planning on doing. Yeah, don't be surprised if, um, you know, he tears up Obama's portrait. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen. Um, he's There's just a bunch of people sitting around the table and they're looking at each other and they're like, what, what do we do? You know, the president's completely lost it. He's running around the house like a madman. Well, you know, what do we do? Um, and that's a major crisis. Nobody quite knows what to do. Um, you know, how do you hospitalize a president for are going nuts um, but they're sitting around ah, and of course the um, White House doctor is no longer there they're gonna get a new White House doctor because I can see the old one getting up and leaving from the table um, and he's the one that's gonna introduce like look we've got to 
the new doctor, whoever that is, is the one that's going to go, hey, look, we got to, we have to do something. He's crazy. Um, and, um, you know, we can't keep this hidden from the public for very long. Um, I, I mean, literally, like, I see him giving him an injection um, and discreetly, like, going, hey, let's just try to get him in the ambulance and take him over to the hospital. And we won't tell anyone yet, right? Um, you know, we'll wait a couple hours and, like, when we get him back, maybe he'll be, he won't be crazy. Um, and they're just going, no, 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 no. He is nuts. He has seriously lost his marbles. Um, cause he's just ranting. Trump is just ranting. He's like, you know, when you look at the eyes of a crazy person and they're all, you know, red and freaked out and, you know, it looks like you're staring into space. He's, you know, beyond just breaking stuff. He's starting to really, really lose it. I mean, I see him pulling his hair out. Um, So um, I, I'm getting the impression that he will be um, he'll be impeached early, um, just on grounds of sanity. Uh, let me make sure this is true. Yeah, um, I see Paul Ryan with downcast eyes. Um, a little bit of shame there, um, and um, they're letting they're just they're, even Republicans are like, look, he's nuts. Um, we, we can't continue doing this. He's crazy. And um, what do we do now? And um, finally putting the good of the country before Trump and saying, okay, look, he's done. Um, he is impeached. Let's just call it a day. Um, you know, it's not going to do the Republicans any good to keep a crazy president. Um, you know, it's just not going to help. I see a large round table with um, important people around it, like senators and stuff like that, just sort of nodding and discussing and going, look, what do we do? Um, you know, and I see um, Adam Schiff kind of smiling. So I think that um, Trump will be impeached on grounds of sanity. Um, and um, yeah, that's that. June, I'm, I'm getting... Um, June. Was it June 12th? June 12th. Ah, uh, not exactly. Okay, what, when, when is it? June, July? It's not certain. But some, in June or July, this is, this is going to happen. As the pressure heats up for Trump, um, he'll go more and more crazy. All right. Um, so um, let's just ask one more question. Um, you know, let's ask who, who will stop him. So I keep seeing Adam Schiff, and I think Adam Schiff will have a um, kind of a new position of power when this is all said and done. Um, he's just looking satisfied, like, well, you know, we finally did our, we finally did the job, um, and took care of it. Um, a lot of downcast eyes from Republicans, you know, um, Mitch McConnell, all these guys are kind of looking down and, um, they're, they're a bit ashamed and they realize that, you know, they should have done this before. Um, and there's no other alternative. They can't go to their constituents now. There's no other alternatives. Um, yep, um, Schiff, Adam Schiff is going to be significant in this event. All right. Thanks for watching.